Alright, here's another example of law of cosines. So it looks like the side, side, side condition again. Let's just go ahead and fill these in the box. There we go. Alpha, theta, gamma. Alright, law of cosines. C squared equals A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine gamma. And by the way, if you say it out loud, it really helps. Let's go ahead and solve for gamma. Um, you can solve for any of the angles, doesn't make any difference. So we have 10 squared equals 4 squared plus 15 squared minus 2 times 4 times 15 times cosine of gamma. So we know, based on the previous example, I'm going to move through this a little bit more quickly, that the cosine of gamma is going to be equal to 10 squared minus 4 squared minus 15 squared all over negative 2 times 4 times 15. Alright, and if you do that in the same manner we did the last example, you are going to find that we don't have a triangle because if you go back and just recalculate this part right here, just to prove it to yourself, you're going to get cosine gamma is 1.175. This is greater than 1 so we have no triangle. Triangle does not exist here. All right, so let's um, let's talk about a, a rule. There's kind of a rule about these. So the rule is that two sides added together have to be greater than the third side. So that means that your A plus B has to be greater than C. Likewise, A plus C has got to be greater than B, and B plus C has to be greater than A. So in the last example, we had 4 plus 10, we thought would be greater than 15. It's not greater than 15, so we had no triangle. So um, you can always, you know, just run that uh, check real quick if you want it when you get a side, side, side condition and that would let you rule out the fact that it is a triangle or not a triangle before you go ahead and set up the law of cosine.